Ladies and gentlemen, we're back to the free uh, Nazi uh, testicular cancer check. Um, uh, no, no money required. We do this out of the kindness of our American hearts. And uh, all free Nazi- vasectomies all day long. All Nazis welcome. <laughs> this, uh, is a, this is a open uh, casting call for Nazis, actually, on this edition of uh, Crosshair's Turn Red. I don't know. This is a weird time in America. I wouldn't do that. <laughs> We might actually get some replies. <laughs> Fuck it. Uh, if you're a Nazi and you like watching video games, <laughs> we'll I, take... Oh, why? Wow, my, you, all of my blood. You take, fall, <laughs> you take fall damage, apparently. I was, dude, I was there. Oh, I, I could, My fat ass could jump down there and not explode my brain. <laughs> not explode. Oh, this is already fun. So basically, we decided we were going to do another episode of this because why not? Because it's, it's really fun. Oh, it's just entertaining as hell to watch. Um, and also, I do have one of these. Also, I'm a little confused about. Oh, nice. Pop. I'm a little confused about a couple things with the gameplay mechanics. Not even, not even so much the gameplay mechanics, but like just all of the things that are popping up on the screen. Like, okay, I mean, I agree. There's a lot going on. I don't understand what half of them are. Like, are they all enemies? Are they like? Destination markers are like what, what, what's happening here, but um, in general, I use that. How, did, how the fuck? Oh, I see. Is that a landmine? No, no, it's a bandage, and I didn't know how the fuck you have to equip it and then use it like a grenade. But I didn't want to press the fucking grenade button because <laughs> who the fuck knows what's gonna happen. Just right, launch so. another grenade directly at your feet. Okay, so that's a checkpoint, that makes sense. All right, whatever. Well, okay, we're on our way to that. We're just gonna roll with it. Making my way back to you, babe. <laughs> anyway, I don't think we did a proper introduction. Uh, welcome back to uh, Crosshairs Turn Red, and on this episode, no, 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 I started to do my introduction, but with I started it with uh, open call, open casting call for Nazis, and then oh, you well, stopped me. I, so. I stand by my decision. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, uh, this, we're still playing uh, still a Sniper, offended. what was it, Sniper Elite 4? Yep, Sniper um, Elite 4. Free on PlayStation right now. PlayStation uh, Plus. Playsta- yeah, yeah. So that's it's that's an important game distinction. Free PlayStation Plus. I will not be giving you a code. <laughs> um, I thought that was a guy. I, I like, did well, too. That'd be awkward. Go down, idiot. And don't drop down, because apparently your meek little knees can't handle it. Uh, yeah. Why, there's why, a guy. Why there's, do you do there's it? a guy. There's a guy. There's a guy. There he is. There's a couple guys. That guy's a dead man. Nade I his wonder... ass. Well, here, hang on. I have a. Uh... I have a rock. Just beam him in the face with it. I don't even care about the distraction element at this point. Oh, damn it! There's a. I throw it when there's a plane going by. <laughs> I thought he was on fire. <laughs> like, no shit, I thought he was legitimately just... He's just standing... Johnny Storm, flame on. He's <laughs> he's just standing in the pit of fire. It's too bad I you don't have... I fell into a burning ring of fire. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna copyright claim. Yeah, you're gonna be copyright claimed because you're too perfect. Uh-huh. <laughs> you just nailed uh-huh. it. I mean, everybody knows that you sound exactly like Johnny Cash, so... Oh, that's a very dead man. <laughs> <laughs> that fire shot a bullet at me. <laughs> oh my god! So I, I gotta tell you about this story because it's the most—it's the most useless, fucking, obvious hack that I've ever seen. And it's what? Uh, well, it's not hack me. like life hack or like no uh, video game hackers fuck yourself kind of hack. Okay. Um. I was, that guy just did the best power slide in the world, <laughs> by the way. He slid for like four he's, feet. Yeah, he slid on cobblestone. Yeah. Genuinely in military that's, garb. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Not gonna While lie. holding a gun! <laughs> like, no, genuinely impressive. Um, anyway, I was playing... Uh, actually, I genuinely don't remember what game I was playing, but I was uh, in a gunfight with this guy. And when I say gunfight, I mean we're in a tiny alleyway. I have been... Uh, I've been knocked to the ground. Oh, oh, oh. oh, you're about to just melee this guy's life away. How to friend? Oh. Oh, no, 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 Okay. That was yeah. close. What? Am I... They're curious. Wait, boop, boop. Coming in clutch. Well, they're gonna... They're gonna find a dead man. Yeah, 
Um, oh, they found a different dead man. Oops. That's fine. They're going to come around this way anyway. Maybe. Well, I'm going to put this here because I don't... Because why not? And then just go hide in the same door that he power slid through. That's That was kind of my plan, yeah. All right. Nice. So here's the thing. Um, I was playing a game. I can't even remember what game. I'm in a gunfight with this guy. And uh, by gunfight, I mean... I have shot him in the head 14 times with a pistol. Um, oh, this better be glorious. And I'm... Oh, boy. Is somebody is somebody running? Come on. Spot the dead man. Oh, they spotted you, not the dead man. Stay still. Don't move. They ran right over a mine. No, I think they just ran around it. Doesn't matter. You can take them out individually. Or yes. No. Oh, he heard what? it. He heard something. He's going. Did you hear my arm throw? Nope. He heard it. He's going. Ah, ah, please. Both. Yes. Both of them. Oh. Did he get both? Oh my god! It looks. He just. He is so gone. You're god. No way. Genuinely amazing power slide. I'm sorry about them being not. Oh, fist of granite. Uh, yeah, sorry they're... about them being Nazis and all, but. Apparently, Nazis knew how to fucking rock. <laughs> like, I want to rock! <laughs> Copyright claim. Yeah, but, <laughs> but no, so I'm, Spongebob. I'm in, a, <laughs> I'm in a fight with this, with a gunfight with this guy. I've shot him in the head 14 times with my handgun. Wait, does, so, well, hang and, on. Sorry, does that mean that only... No, both of them blew... God! That's so dumb! Well, I mean, that's... That, an, that's an explosion that's, like that is, like, meant to take out... Uh, tanks, is there a guy? No, okay. Mm. That, that's, it pisses me off that that man's still alive. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> still angry. But, uh, so I've shot this guy in the head like 14 times with a pistol, and he hasn't died. And, um, he is missing constantly. Like, he's just fucking firing, spraying and praying with an assault rifle. And at this point, I've done, like, a dive roll, landed on the ground, gone prone, rolled over on my back, shot him four more times, and just, like, continually, like, WHY ISN'T THIS MAN DEAD?! <laughs> and so, like, about that time, he clearly is like, alright, screw this, I'm not getting this guy. Pulls a grenade. Is this, uh, are you, like, online? Or? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Pulls a grenade, holds it above his head, <laughs> and, and the grenade <laughs> shoots me in the face with a bullet. <laughs> I'm not, um... I'm not kidding. He then puts the, like, he didn't drop, I don't know if he dropped the pin or whatever, but it did the whole grenade animation. And then he just didn't throw it, so he puts the grenade back and in his fucking chest pouch where he pulled it from, and then just continues running around. I want one of those grenades. <laughs> I was like, you're a hacker! Like, 100% hacks, and I'm calling bullshit. Very, very, very soon after that, the all of the servers for this game shut down. And it has never gone... Uh, that particular version of this game has never gone online again. Yeah. I mean, with shit like that, I don't doubt it. Yeah, I, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember if it was a PC game or, like, a, a console game. I don't, rem I don't remember anything. But it was one of my favorite online games, and I, do and I don't like online games. So... That man just emerged. I didn't know that was a stairway. That guy had <laughs> no clue. <laughs> like, I really want, I wish that we had a uh, an editing team so that right now we could put in the bottom left corner a two-inch video of that man getting shot in the head again. Because that was the most violent head whip to the left <laughs> yeah, I've ever seen. A, wow. <laughs> I have actually, I'm, ex I'm kind of excited. because Nope. Uh, because I figured out how to do some editing thing with the current software we have. Really? Um, a, a couple a couple things. So we'll see how the next couple videos turn out. Excellent. Um. Can you please start censoring certain things I say? Like, first of all, <laughs> first of that all. That is, like, yes, I can. <laughs> I just forget. <laughs> first of all, I don't care. Second of all, I genuinely just want Crystal to shut the hell up. Yeah. <laughs> like, I am too busy putting, putting her on mute to, to handle <laughs> you and your racist comments. Hey, hey, there's not very many of those sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like, like I said, it's a weird time in America. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Stereotypes exist for a reason. You can censor that if you want. The lieutenant hates me. I know it. <laughs> well, right now you're getting annihilated. <laughs> oh, my God. Come get me, you Nazi scum. Poke. Leave the full kid up. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
That's twice in two I videos. Sh- I shot his arm to death. That's twice in two videos, and it was totally worth it both times. Just calling it. What am I, what am I doing? What am I, I doing? I don't know why you threw that rock on a roof. Uh, now there's just a rock on a roof. That guy's carrying a body. That's mine. That's my meat. <laughs> I hunted it. Fair. I hunted it. You're not going to die. That guy's not dead. He's being performed, like, surgeries performed on him. Well, you're very... That dead. is not a safe place to be. Oh. oh, why did you walk out in the open? Oh, my God. My goodness. <laughs> oh. Dude, stop. He just stands in the open. Snipe the shit out of him. Can I blind fire? Yes, I can. It's not... <laughs> Not exactly what I had in mind. 360 no scope. Right. <laughs> Bye. Oh. <laughs> He's so surprised. <laughs> and I broke dust. Oh my. God. <laughs> uh oh. No, stop walking out! Dude, I don't I don't wanna say anything, but it's like his jaw was on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. he's Alright, I gotta give this game way more credit than I gave it previously. This game's yeah, great. No, this is amazing. I loved that. That was my favorite bit of commentary that we've ever done so far. Like shot to the jaw, blown his entire bottom jaw off. He's so surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> His jaw was on the floor. Everybody do the dinosaur. <laughs> 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 oh, we are hitting our stride now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Put Nazis in front of me and watch the magic happen. <laughs> you know what? You know what I want, Jake? Just for this one video, censor every time you've done something that could be copyright claimed. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's gonna be a quiet video. <laughs> I don't want that, by the no. way. I just want to draw attention to the fact that you've done it like four times in the last minute. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> oh. I don't think the dinosaur thing is copyright. I uh, don't care. I mean, at it this probably point. is, but it's so funny. Markiplier does it, so I can do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let that be our standard from now on. <laughs> yeah. After that, Crystal can never tell me to shut up about things I say ever again. Uh. Oh wait, what? I don't care about. Or whatever, you already disabled it, it's fine. Yeah, I think I rigged it to explode, so hopefully it doesn't do that, like, right now. <laughs> You're just way too close. You know, this game does have multiplayer, which is, like, hilarious. Oh. This game is already hilarious. I'm having so much fun <laughs> just bullshitting with you about this. Destroy... Oh. There's, a, there's okay, an officer. There wasn't even an officer. What? There's a destroy camera, and there's an officer in that area. That's a win-win. I'm on my way. Oh, um, fuck. Just set me free. I, I, I can't hit that. Can I have man. a grappling hook or something, please? <laughs> I'm Batman. Yeah, World War II Batman. <laughs> Gotham by Gaslight Batman. That'd be awesome. That, that was a that was cool su- movie. That was supposed to be an actual game. Have you seen the footage? No. Oh, my God. Like, I want to say it's PS2 era. But, I mean, I'd believe it. But, like, it was... Because they were making a lot of super, like, bad superhero games and, for the Okay, PS2. speaking of some which... Some of them hit, some of them did not. Speaking of bad games, there is a uh, there is a conception or a belief that Superman has never had a good outing in a video game. And there's a it's a very fair belief, because Superman 64 uh, and Superman Returns exist. Injustice was... It's not a Superman game, but... Yeah. Well, I guess, yeah. He's, he's the antagonist, not the protagonist. Spoilers, yeah. it's a whole game. Um, Spoilers, that's the whole game. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I guess that, that's the only representation in a video game of him that is good. Um, yes, but it's also because they radically changed him. Um, because it is kind of... Where is this dude? In terms of, like, playing... Oh, he's literally... He's in the book! Oh, okay. Stab him. How did you not... Okay, this is Assassin's Creed. There's the officer! Howdy! Howdy! <laughs> Oh! That's a dead Nazi. That's a violently dead... That's how all Nazis should have been put down, by the way. Um, how did he, This guy's clueless. 
Not anymore, he's not. My hands are made of granite. Broke your arm, broke your face. Oh, why wasn't there an x-ray for that? That would have been awesome. Uh, here's the thing. I don't even think they're called x-rays, but Mortal Kombat has ruined me. <laughs> yeah, they, they are definitely x-ray. Oh my god. You poor, clueless Nazi bastard. Oh, he's not so... Oh, he's... Oh. Bam! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the thing, and this is something I genuinely want to come back to. Oh, I thought he threw a grenade. I was like, what? <laughs> this is something I want to come back to. It's one of those old school games that I keep talking about that I definitely want to go oh. and play. Lots of fond memories from my childhood, and for my money, it's the best representation of Superman in video games ever. Okay. Have you ever seen Superman the Animated Series? Yeah, okay. of course. It's excellent, right? Yeah. Um, I, I didn't watch it as much as Batman the Animated Series, of course, just because there... I don't think there were as many seasons. There were not. But, uh... Also, Batman absolutely saturated the market when it was out. Beside the point. Uh, well, that guy's a dead man. I gave him a haircut. <laughs> like, his entire head. <laughs> you cut. You started a haircut at the eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, uh... There is a video game based on Superman the Animated Series called Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. It came out for PS2. I absolutely loved it as a kid. Like, it was genuinely, for my money, still the best representation of Superman in video games. And it felt really fun. Like, it was just a very... Because it was based on the animated series... I throw a rock over here so he jumps back over the wall like, ah! Yeah. <laughs> Smartest Nazi we've run into so You're right. far. No, but because... Whoa! You just got a what? double kill somehow. Where did they... Where? A booby trap somehow. I don't know. Um, The only thing I can think of is my other bomb didn't go off, and it just did. Because that's the only trap I've laid this whole time. And whatever. I'll take it. That that's, was awesome. I wish there would have been an x-ray for that to it see just, what the hell it was. Just it completely cuts away from gameplay into something completely different. Some dude dies randomly. And, and now for it. something completely different. <laughs> right. For all three of you just, tiny Python fans. Just my just melee that guy. Oh, you're not. There we you go. did it. That's yeah. a festival shot through the <laughs> anus. <laughs> so no, but seriously, I want to go back at some point and play Superman Shadow of Apocalypse. If you have to look up gameplay. I don't know, like what what is it? Is it 64 or No, it's a PS2. That's that's not impossible. Nope. Um it's a uh it's it's literally a Superman the animated show based video game and it's just all around spectacular with oh it's just brutal it's, it's so, so brutal. good and that bullet casing came out but the bullet's still in there no um with so many villains too there's um why do i have to destroy cam can't i just kill nazis yeah i mean whatever take your take your camera shot literally shoot the camera um but like there's Meta you fight metallo you fight Livewire. Metallo is like the most, uh, not the most, but like one of the most underrated. Yes. Like, kick. <laughs> I love e that. Uh, but you were yeah, bitching about destroying the camera. You just got to kick expensive equipment, <laughs> and you're not happy about this. Uh, well, I, I thought I uh, whatever. Metallo. Um. Yes, Metallo is like one of the most underrated. Uh, or, and not not even underrated, just like underused yep. Batman or Batman bad guys for Superman because yeah. like he's terrifying. Yeah, like he's, especially if they did a real life version, like Christopher Nolan Superman. Superman versus that'd be scary as hell. Superman versus the Terminator is yeah, essentially what that yeah, is. Terminator and, like from T two. Yeah, and I buy literally all of it. Like it's amazing. So, so but I need like a parachute. Like, within Superman Shadow of Apocalypse, you fight Metallo, Livewire, Parasite, and Darkseid makes an appearance. I don't know who two of those are. <laughs> um, Livewire is this chick who somehow controls electricity. Okay. Um, and she's very powerful. Like, she actually was just in the um, Lego DC Villains game that they released, and I was very pleased to know that they thought about, about her, because... The, well, Lego is really good about that, because, yeah, like, they are. basically all they got is, like... A thousand playable characters because it's the same fucking game. Yeah, um, which that's fine. Kids game wise, it, it's fine. I know a lot of people love those, and they're a lot of fun to play. Genuinely, I definitely need to. I've heard great things about that one specifically, like mm -hmm. the DC villains. So I would like to try it. Last one I tried was I, I think DC Heroes one. Oh okay. Or two, and it was not good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I know the Lego Batman ones are good. Um, 
I think Lego Marvel Heroes, or it was either Lego Marvel or Lego Avengers that was really good. And then I genuinely did enjoy DC Heroes for what it was worth. I haven't played all of it, but um, I've seen a large portion of the story, and it's entertaining. I have no complaints. Um, having said that, Livewire is uh, this chick who somehow controls electricity. I'm not entirely familiar with the backstory, and I genuinely wish I could be, because she was like, Oh, you oh. saw was a bullet like it just blotted out his oh, head that bullet went through his bottom jaw into his throat and then might have come out his spine like that's just jeez so like he's dead so hard <laughs> but no uh live wire somehow oh, get to the bush get to the bush get to the bush get to the bush made it to the bush ah! it's okay you stood up like an idiot but he still didn't see you because he's a nazi and he did a power slide instead uh, yeah but um no but i, I really Go wish get I him, boys <laughs> really wish I knew more about her backstory because she's genuinely cool. Like she was one of the punk rock chicks before I knew anything about a punk rock chick. Okay. Um, like no hair on the sides and back, and just like short, spiky blue electric hair on on the top, and like, you know, obviously like tight superhero costume. But whatever, mm -hmm. that's all well and good. And she's an absolute badass. And Parasite is this guy whose name I can't remember. Um who either fell into or was pushed into some sort of, like, chemical waste you're being seen. I was trying to end that thing. I couldn't oh. get out of it. Well, that guy's a dead man. Um, but he somehow either fell into or got pushed into some sort of chemical waste um, and has then been... I wonder, did I? I didn't use that. That whole... All of that. And I still didn't use the thing. But it, he is, he's now been endowed with the ability to... Ah! Oh, God. But he's now... But because he's been irradiated or whatever, pushed into the chemical waste, he now has the ability to drain your powers along with all of your knowledge, your life force, your energy, everything from you by touch. Oh, okay. I've heard of that. Making him... Basically, like, the DC, like, super-powered version of Rogue... To the point where he can stand up to fucking Superman. Oh, jeez. And also... <laughs> and also touching Superman in any... Oh! Sorry. All of your intestines yeah, are... Yeah, what? But basically touching Superman in, in any way, shape, or form gives him the... Gives him all of the knowledge within Clark Kent's head. Including the fact that he is, in fact, Clark Kent. That's pretty fucked up, actually. Yeah, it's real... Like, it, again, another villain that would be utterly terrifying... Yeah. Like, all all of the villains in this game would be fucking terrifying in a real life, you know, well, I guess, um, live action movie, not a real life movie. But uh, a live real action... Life documentary. Yeah, a live action movie. Um, and I would say that beside Brainiac and Darkseid, well, actually, I just mentioned Darkseid in the game. Aside from Brainiac, they're uh, probably the three villains most deserving of their own uh, movie. Um, so, yes, 100% worth What playing. am I doing? 100% worth playing. Genuinely enjoy... That's a dead man. Didn't fuck your head up. Oh, took his eye. <laughs> took his eye. But, uh... Yeah, genuinely enjoyable to play. Um, again, old school PS2 gameplay, but with all of the freedom that you could possibly want from a Superman game. And the powers don't feel... Like, ridiculously overpowered. They don't feel overpowered, but they don't feel underpowered. That guy either. just killed himself, I think. Yeah, that's the, that's the important thing to me. Oh, broken collarbone. I think you that was not a headshot. I'll uh, take it, but uh, yeah, you might have you might have clipped his brain on the way through to his collarbone. But yeah, but no, it was like um, the the important thing to me at the time because it was a PS2 game and it felt <sighs> he just wouldn't get in the bush. Yeah, it was a PS2 game and it felt. You know, because it is animated, it would have been very easy to um, make Whoa, Superman ow. to make Superman the exact opposite and make him underpowered. You know, because it's animated, you can't lift everything in the environment. Yeah, it, it would have been very easy to, to feel restricted, and it right. didn't. And it, it didn't. You know, you still had the eye lasers, the freeze breath, the superpower. Uh, you know, the super strength, and in some cases, super speed. But even though that was barely used in the game, but. If there was a power that you could slack on, I feel like that's the one that you could let go, you know. Because you can fucking fly. Why do you need super speed? You're right. <laughs> but, uh... They kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, they do. But it, but it was, like I said, genuinely fun. Oh, what happened? 
happened? He pulled out a grenade and I shot it. That's incredible. I'm fine with you taking damage for that kill. I wish they would have done an x-ray. Yeah, no kidding. Oh. I mean, I, I get why they didn't, because not even the game could have known that that was going to happen. But that was the most ninja thing I've ever seen. Just me and you, Schmidt. Oh, just... Yep. There's going to be a testicle shot through the anus, isn't there? Unless you've got... You've got a better idea. Bye! Melee him to death. Oh, damn. Oh. I honestly thought the grenade would go off much, much faster. I don't yeah. know if I can cook grenades. Which is actually, like, I should really... You should test that, test but safely. That. <laughs> uh, I don't hear it ticking. Guess not. Where'd that grenade go? I think you just put it back. I hope so. Like they don't go off unless you throw them kind of thing. I do love the fact that you hit him in the back of the head with a grenade and then made him panic. Look. <laughs> <laughs> like, eh. That's pretty awesome. Well, that's all of your objectives right there. You destroyed I, cameras. I think I gotta get this uh, safe and then... Oh, okay. Nice. I don't know where the hell it is though. Upstairs? I think it's upstairs. It's gotta be upstairs, right? Um, Damn tricky Nazi house. But yeah, without, I mean, without major spoilers or anything, which I'm sure I gave away a few, um, it's definitely something I want to do because it's it's a fond memory of my childhood and it was genuinely fun. So I feel like we could have a pretty good afternoon with it or something. And then, and while we have the PS2 hooked up, we could play like Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> I, I literally, I, I watched a video on like uh, 10 great video games that you shouldn't go back to. I'm, yeah, I'm, I... And Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, the first one, was literally the very first, like, the number one game on that list. Because it's like, yeah, created and defined a genre. Um, redefined movement. Like, the joy of movement. Like, that's something that I feel like is missing from a lot of video games. Is just, there's a lot of giant worlds to traverse, but traversing them feels like a chore. Whereas they used to, like, deliberately make moving around the world its own fun. You yeah. Know? That's why I liked everyone hates this game, but Brink? I've never heard of Brink, it's, actually. Uh, I don't even remember what the concept was, but it was, like, what the uh, the story concept, I yeah. don't even remember. But it was, um, you're free runners, and you free run, it's like Mirror's Edge Catalyst if it if they turned it into a shooter. Okay. It's You you're, already have my attention. Though. You're all awesome. free runners, and you're trying to deliver a bomb... Or kill somebody. Or it's like Overwatch mixed with uh, Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge, yeah. Okay. And it was really cool, a really cool concept. It like failed miserably because they suck. Like just the developers screwed it up, and there were never any updates, and it was broken, and yada 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 yada. Just typical gaming bullshit. Yeah. So I wish that then it was like free to play for a while, and now I think it just doesn't even work. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was. Cool concept. Wish they would revisit that. Can you not? I cannot you can't walk get, through you that. You can't touch water. Wow. All right. Another problem with this game. Well, as good, fun as it is. Good to know that you have certain restrictions, though. I mean, it's definitely yes. One last kill to send us off. Bip. That was that was efficient. There's no other word for that. Where are you going? You coming to look? Come look. Come luck. Please come luck. Yeah, you know where I'm at. Come on. Come on, get some. Damn. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, who's coming? Like, everybody knows where you're at. Your cover's blown, but nobody's coming to investigate? All right, bye. <laughs> All right, guys, that is going to do it for uh, this episode of Crosshairs Turn Red. Thanks again for tuning in. And, uh... I don't know. We might do more of this. We might uh, throw something else on. Um, like, share, and subscribe. Let us know if there's anything else that you want us to play aside from the Superman game that I spent entirely too long talking about. <laughs> yeah, 90% of the episode. But it's fine. I mean, there's 
when important things Nazi guts happened, <laughs> we commented on them. So yeah, yeah. We got we we talked about what was important. Well, to us. <laughs> and again, this is just what we do. We kind of go off on tangents and let things take it, like let conversation steer us wherever it, it it goes. I've talked at length about Metal Gear. Jake has talked at length about Halo or. Oh God, I, there's so many other games. That uh, yeah, just, a lot. There's games, games and music and movies and games everything. that we're not playing right now. Right. We just we just let things spiral. So um, anyway, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Comment below if there's anything that you want to see us do. We'll do our best to make that happen because we are here for you and here for ourselves as well. Everything you want us to do is equally fun for us. Thanks for watching and uh, tune in next time. Thanks, everybody.